I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. You know what time it is? We are back to try another foundation. If you guys want to see which one I'm talking about, want to know my thoughts on it, let's go. So this is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I saw Tasha try their powder blushes. They come like a little compact thing, like huge. They looked huge, by the way. I was like, ooh. I'm a treat. Y'all know y'all have been on blush the last few years. And then I was talking about them in the Let's Try New Makeup video where they came out with like a coffee collection. They had a bunch of pretty brown glosses and lip liners. Well, they just came out with this foundation and she had the PR box. She was like, oh, you should try it. So she let me snag a couple shades. So I'm going to go ahead and try it in today's video. So this retails for $23. $23. Uh, for one ounce. Okay, so when I tried I Am Magic the foundation the first time around, I was the shade Legos. Legos. I don't someone correct me if I'm saying that incorrectly. So I took that shade again because I'm hoping it's one of those um, where if you wear, you know, a shade in this foundation, it'd be the same shade in that foundation. But I also took the shade Tanzan. Oh, so the. The one I just said is 240 and Tanzania is 205 and I believe they they number their shades from darkest to lightest. So you know if a, if a foundation shade has 50 shades, usually the darker shades will be, you know, like 40 to 50. I think this is one of those the light the darker shades would be like 1 through 10, I think, because I was looking it's not as easy picking a shade. Um, when you don't see like undertones or anything like that, but I'm gonna try that one. I'll swatch this one as well, but I'm gonna try that one to see how the color match goes on my face. And let's see what they say about this foundation. I believe the original I Magic was more of a matte foundation, you know, so this one, Natural Radiance. Juvia's Place I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation is an easy glide foundation for a flawlessly radiant and luminous complexion. Both light and hardworking, this water-resistant formula will naturally minimize imperfections to smooth, protect, and hydrate the skin with lasting results. Details. So benefits, natural radiant finish, medium coverage, long wear. Okay. Um... Now she did like it as much as she liked Mario. And y'all know Mario's been my go-to ever since I tried it. So I already primed my face the same stuff that I primed in the, the last video I posted where I was like, you know, this is gonna be my go-to makeup routine. Let me put this down. Let me get a brush. So this is what the product looks like. And then can't be seen. Oh. So one pump, we'll see what one pump gives. And blend that out. I always blend with a sponge as well. Okay, maybe she's giving, I feel like she's giving a little glow, you know, could be a natural highlight. Yeah, I forgot there's a whole sponge. So this is the I Am Magic Duo Density Makeup Sponge. It looks like this. It has a flat side, so maybe maybe that might be better for blending out my concealer.
And then I also snagged the I Am Magic Powder Foundation. This retails for $18, it comes in 20 shades. This is the shade Burkina Tan 3. So, um, I don't know if you can see this, I'll open it up, but it's kind of giving me banana-y shade. So I think I'm gonna try baking with it as opposed to, you know, some of the lighter, you know, beige or uh, banana shades that I use. And it says this is a uh, Juvia's Place Eye and Magic Powder Foundation. It's an easy glide foundation for a flawlessly radiant luminous complexion. So I mean, technically this is a foundation, but we're gonna use it to set our face today and see how that goes. Ooh. So packaging and then made in Italy. And then this is what the shade looks like. So I might do a light set my concealer with this shade, but then actually, you know, like bake um, with the regular shades I would use. I really just took the first brush I could find. We're gonna dab in here, get product on. Oh yeah, see we're gonna have to still, still bake the face. I had to film a little TikTok in between real quick, so it took a little longer to come back. But this is gonna be my face for the day. I actually feel like it's kind of giving a little bit more, not matte, maybe soft matte of a finish, because you know, you think like radiance, you think automatic dew, but sometimes foundations, like the actual finishes look a little dewy, look a little radiant, right? But this, I feel like this is that type of glow from within type look. Cause even though, at least to me, it's giving a little soft matte look finish, on the face, I feel like it's kind of giving, you know, glow from within. You know, like you got that pregnancy glow, which, <laughs> don't put me. Um, but like that type of glow, you know, where you don't have anything on your face that looks glowy, but you look like you are naturally just radiating from the inside. Okay, so we just gotta see how this wears throughout the day. It is 12.33, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna check in, in daylight, lighting, and then come back later tonight, give me my thoughts on this foundation. Okay, y'all, so it is, so it, it, come on, get it together, please, thank you. All right, so it is a 432, this is my face, is looking like, I feel like if I usually leave for the day around 11 noon, then my face starts to cook by like three, four, so I'm not surprised that, because I feel like this is where we're getting to that look where you've had makeup on your face for a couple hours now, and now it's settling in, now it's really sinking in there, which I'm not sure if you would technically want makeup to sink in there but here we are um and i feel like you know she's giving skin okay i i just at this point my nose area is gonna be the first place that gets oily so i feel like i'm getting oily in this area around here we are going to ignore my mouth because like you know there's literally no lip products on there anymore i did eat lunch for the day also if you notice anything down here but so far, so good, especially because this claims to be a natural radiant foundation and I definitely have oily skin. Yeah, but this is the time of year to try that type of foundation because we're in winter. Y'all are not going to believe this, but it is 12, 17 a.m. I've had this on for like 12 hours at this point and the only reason I remembered see that's that's why you know I fell off on filming foundation hunt the only reason I remembered that I was still wearing makeup is because I saw something I'm that person like if it makes me laugh too much I start crying so I started crying and I was like I felt like it was gonna start tearing up on my face I don't know if you can see that right there but it looks like it just kind of I can just kind of brush it away so if you notice that that's what it is that is dried up tears on my face but this is what my face looks like 12 hours after i've had this foundation on what time of sorcery is this because excuse 12 hours i've had this on for 12 now granted i do have the Vanessa myricks on as a primer but and it's a natural finish foundation i told you guys i felt like it was giving more matte when I left for the day and it was more so like a glow from within type thing but baby I done cooked I done ate twice because I had lunch and dinner I actually ate like an adult today um 
So I did all that. I did not end up going to the gym today. Again, I forgot about that. But she definitely looks lived in. I think if I were to keep it on, like you could see it's starting to crack here. Like you're starting to see a little texture-ish there. It's getting past where it looks marinated in your skin. And now it's starting to look like it's getting oily on your face, but not too much. I mean, could you tell that I've had this makeup on for 12 hours? Maybe you can. If you can, don't. Don't be mean about it in the comments. But I mean, yeah, here in this area, again, like if I stress it, I feel like I would start probably um, really creasing in my smile lines. But I mean, I'm going to take this off as soon as I turn this camera off. Like I'm not going anywhere. I'm taking this right off. So baby, let me find out. The only thing that I think would be an issue for me is that I could tell earlier it's giving it my crease a little bit. Like when I was, um, uh, earlier when I did the check in during the day, I think I might touch myself here or something like that. And I noticed like, oh, my finger was a little brown. So I think, so if I tried blotting, she's giving a little more crease than she usually does. It's more so again, where my nostril is. But like if I tried blotting here, my nose, that is what it would look like. So I think the only thing might be that this foundation has a little transfer to it. But I mean, you could also really, 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 really try to make sure like you set it, all the right things on your face with setting spray, all that good stuff. Keep in mind it's 12 o'clock in the morning, so it's giving a little brain fart right now. But other than that, okay, like I said before, I think the eye and magic that i tried before was a matte foundation like matte matte which is why i didn't really wear it often i think i don't recall it's been a couple years but baby this one if i have to think like which one do i like more just off like a first impression it's this one because i know i didn't have this reaction with the first one that i tried so let me find out the <laughs> okay skin I mean like skin like face the rest of the body okay so that is it for this video child it is late late what time is it now it's already 12 21 what time did I come back it's time for me to go to bed so I hope saving test this out has helped if any of you are thinking of checking it out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment, subscribe to your notification bells down below thank you all for watching I'll see you in the next one bye Thank you.